Gravel biking's popularity is soaring, offering adventure, versatility and that thrilling edge. Whether you're an experienced rider or new to the game, our lineup of the best gravel superbikes is a must-see. We've scoured the market, tested countless models and consulted with our expert testers to bring you the ultimate list that you absolutely need to know about. These machines redefine adventure on two wheels. From speed to endurance to exploration and beyond, they deliver it all. But before we dive into the details, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with all things cycling on our channel. First on our list had to be the Uber Lite Specialized Crux. The range-topping S-Works model boasts a feathery 725 gram frame for a 56 cm bike, making it one of, if not the lightest gravel frame on the market. Despite its stunningly low weight, the Crux is a real joy to ride and makes no serious concessions to practicality in pursuit of feathery figures. Lacking any mudguards or luggage mounts, it isn't the most versatile gravel bike out there, but it is sensationally good fun to ride and that will appeal to many. To serve riders that might want the additional versatility, Specialized has the Diverge. The Creo then adds the assistance of an electric motor and the Roubaix, well that offers road bike speed with bump taming suspension. Jack Luke reviewed the S-Works model and said that the ride quality of the Crux is pretty remarkable. He wouldn't call it effortless, you do still have to push the pedals, but the bike has a really addictive and lively feel that's quite unlike any other gravel bike that he's ridden. The super light frame also contributes to a responsive feel when riding over lower speed terrain. It's very easy to lift the rear wheel and throw the bike around. Reckless, high-speed, last-moment bunny hops over potholes and obstacles are also dispatched with ease. The Crux was born for the cyclocross course, but this latest model boasts massive clearance around a UCI legal 33mm tyre. That makes it ideal for muddy cross races as the mud doesn't build up to a point that the wheels stop turning. The lightweight and stiff frame set does sacrifice a little comfort on rough descents, but if you're after a super fast racer, this would be a brilliant pick. The Pinarello Gravel F is the Italian brand's race option for unpaved surfaces. The frame and fork get the usual wavy Pinarello tube shapes along with plenty of aero touches. Cast your eyes to the down tube and you'll see cam tail shaping that drops away at the bottle cage area to smooth the airflow over the bottle. Pinarello has even gone as far as building a fairing into the fork leg to hide the front brake caliper. How many watts this actually saves is unclear, but what will help you to slice through the air is the integrated front end. We got up close and personal with the bike of Connor Swift from the Ineos Grenadiers at the British Gravel Championships. This is a super interesting build with a mixed bag of parts. The drivetrain uses a mix of 11-speed Shimano Ultegra Di2 and GRX components, with Swift opting for the clutch-equipped rear derailleur in a bid to keep his chain on. The powerful Yorkshireman used compact 50-34-tooth road chainrings with an 11-34-tooth cassette out back. On the subject of power, Swift chose to run his usual Dura-Ace road pedals for a better pedaling platform and he needs it. Over the two hour race, Swift averaged a whopping 325 watts. Oof. At the front of the bike sat a pair of the lesser spotted R785 shifters. These were the original non-series shifters for Di2 shifting and hydraulic braking, launched way back in 2013 so we'd imagine that they've been in his parts bin for some years. A set of Princeton Carbon Works Dual 5550 hoops adds a $4,000 wheel set to this gravel superbike. Basso's Palta is made in Italy and features a range of quirky tube shapes giving it a little non so che, which is Italian for je ne sais quoi, which is French for I don't know what. The name Palta comes from the word used in Basso's home region of Veneto for the high roads where tarmac turns to gravel. 
Think of it as the region's version of Tuscany Strada Bianca and you'll get a feel for the Palter's intended use. The Palter's slender and lightweight frame places it firmly in the racy gravel camp and our testing showed it to be a compellingly quick and competent all-road gravel bike. The seat tube has a cutaway for rear wheel clearance and accommodates a proprietary crescent-shaped seat post. In fact, there's a lot of proprietary design going on with the frame. Up front, the head tube is designed for Basso's Paradigma integrated system. This works much like FSA's ACR in that it routes the hoses and mechanical drivetrain cables through a channel bolted to the underside of the stem. This means you can remove the stem independently of the cabling, which, further down, runs either side of the steerer tube. The slender fork integrates smoothly into the head tube, though the front of the head tube is wide and almost flat with just a subtle arc. It might be un aero, but it is practical. Once you mount a bar bag in front of it, it sits stable as it rests flush against the head tube. With space for 45mm tyres, the Basso Palter is plenty capable. If you like your gravel superbike to be a little different from the crowd, this would be a great way to go. The latest Orbea Terra is designed to be all the gravel bike you'll ever need, no matter what sort of gravel you ride. The Terra can be equipped with a mechanical or electronic drivetrain across both 1x and 2x formats. It can be run with 700C or 650B wheels with 45mm wide clearance in 700C and a huge 50mm in 650B. That gives you huge scope when it comes to how you want to set up your bike and almost limitless choices of routes. The standard round 27.2mm diameter seat post also enables you to run a wide range of seat posts and opens up the possibility of using a dropper post. The frame features threaded bosses on the dropouts for full length mudguards and for big mile munchers the Terra features triple bottle cage mounts. Orbea has then made good use of the oversized down tube by including a storage box with a lockable door. It's all very well thought out. The best bit, however, is how it rides. On tarmac it feels faster than you'd imagine and it's light enough not to be a burden on long climbs. Steer the Terra onto its natural off-road habitat and it shines even brighter. It never feels anything less than composed on the roughest surfaces. So if you want a bike that can do it all, the Terra M21e is a brilliant bet. Lauf hails from Iceland, where there are almost endless gravel roads. It will come as no surprise then that the brand produces one of the best gravel superbikes in the world. The Segler provides 10mm of rear displacement of the saddle and pairs it with 30mm of travel from Lauf's Grit SL fork. Meanwhile, tyres of up to 29 by 2.25 inches can be fitted. That's massive. To maximise tyre clearance at the rear end, the chainstays originate from a shallow but broad carbon plate. This aids strength and stiffness in the bottom bracket area, while also shaving off a few millimetres of depth to help squeeze wider tyres into the short rear stays. Lauf has also used a BSA 73 bottom bracket, which is wider than the usual BSA 68 standard commonly found on road and gravel bikes. The move gains you a few extra millimetres of clearance but does require the use of a specially built crank set from SRAM or a modular option from the likes of Rota or Easton. The standout feature, however, is the grit fork. A total of 12 glass fibre springs join a pair of dog length links to the fork legs giving 30mm of travel, limited by rubber bumpers on the legs to prevent damage when the full extent of the travel is reached. The result is oodles of comfort from a bike that simply sails over rough terrain. If you can get past the odd aesthetic of the fork, this is truly an excellent gravel superbike. So with those five bikes to choose from, which would you be going for? Does suspension appeal to you? Would a lightweight racer be perfect or would you be after an adventure machine? Let us know in the comments below and if you want to see more fabulous gravel content then there is a playlist on the screen right now. Remember to like this video if you liked it, subscribe and we will see you next time.